Hello again. Today, we are going to be writing a two-column proof. So far, you should have seen how to write a paragraph proof, and a two-column proof is just another way to write a proof. In all of math that I've ever had to do, I got to admit, proofs are probably my least favorite thing to do. But they're definitely a good tool for learning how to show your reasoning, not only in math, but in lots of ways. So if you can master proofs, you can get really good at proving a point. So here we have that you are given that angle ABD is congruent to angle EBC. And they want us to prove that angle ABE is congruent to angle DBC. So when you do a two column proof, you have to make a table. And at the top of that table, on the left column, you'll write the word statements. And on the right column, you'll write the word reasons. And what we're going to do is we're going to number our statements and our reasons. So for our first statement, I will say that angle ABD is congruent to angle EBC. And the reason for that is it's given. Next, well, we know that the measure of angle ABD is equal to the measure of angle EBC, and that would be statement two. And reason number two is the definition of congruent angles, because if two angles are congruent, they have the same measure. That's the definition of congruent angles. For statement three, I'll tell you that the measure of angle EBD is equal to the measure of angle EBD. And remember that if something equals itself, that is the reflexive property of equality. So reason number three is the reflexive property of equality. Next, I will say that the measure of angle ABD plus the measure of angle EBD is equal to the measure of angle EBD plus the measure of angle EBC. Because if you'll notice, I'm adding angle EBD to both sides of this equation. So since I'm adding it to both sides of the equation, reason four is the addition property of equality. Now you'll notice that if I add ABD plus EBD, those two angles together form the angle ABE. And if I combine the angles EBD and EBC, they form the angle DBC. So that brings me to my next statement, which is statement number five, that the measure of angle ABE equals the measure of angle DBC. And the reason for that is the angle addition postulate, because when we add two smaller angles together, they become a larger angle. Now you'll notice that I've been asked to prove that angle ABE is congruent to angle DBC. And here I've seen that the measure of angle ABE is equal to the measure of angle DBC. So we're almost there. So we know that angle ABE is congruent to angle DBC. And the reason for that is the definition of congruent angles. And that, my friends, is how to write a two-column proof.